let's solve systems of equations using substitution. So substitution is a method that allows us to solve for one variable in terms of the other and then substitute that into the other equation so that we can then solve for the last variable and then go back to find the first one we solved for. And substitution works really well if a variable in the system has a leading one. And so we're going to show our first example. Suppose we have x plus y equals 1 and minus 2x plus y equals 7. So what we want to do is we want to look at our equations. We're going to identify a variable to solve for. And I'm going to pick the y. Since that one looks like the, it's going to be the easiest one to use. And so we're going to take this y and we're going to solve for it. So we're going to subtract x from both sides, and we're going to get y equals 1 minus x. Now, I'm going to take this 1 minus x, and I'm going to plug it into the other equation wherever I see a y. So I'm going to end up with minus 2x plus, and I'm replacing the y, I'm substituting in 1 minus x in its place, and setting this equal to 7. So now I have a single equation with just an x in it. Now well, let's get rid of the parentheses, combine like terms, subtract 1 from both sides, so minus 3x equals 6, or x equals minus 2. Now that we know that x equals negative 2, we can go back to our original, y equals 1 minus a negative 2, which is 1 plus 2, which is 3. So my point appears to be minus 2, 3. And so let's check this out. If we take minus 2 and we add 3 to it, does that give us 1? And sure enough, it does. 1 equals 1. Okay, what about minus 2 times minus 2 plus 3? Well, that's 4 plus 3 equals 7 equals 7 and 7 equals 7. So sure enough, the point that we found works. And notice that we always go back and check our answer when we're done. One more example. Suppose we already have one that's solved for. Since the y is already solved for in both, all we do is we take the x's and set them equal to each other. So I just substituted this one into here, since the y's are already solved for. Then we solve like any other linear equation, add 3x, add 5, so 15 equals 5x, divide by 5, and get x equals 3. We can then plug that into the one of our choice, I'm going to plug it into the second one, so y equals 2 times 3 minus 5, which is 6 minus 5, which is 1. To check our answer, we just we know it works for this one since we solved for it y using this one. So let's plug into the other one. Is 1 equal to minus 3 times 3 plus 10? Well, that's 1 equals minus 9 plus 10. Sure enough, it works for the first one. It works for the second one. So our answer is the point 3, 1.